Good morning all. For those who don't know, my name's Andrew and occasionally you'll see my wife pop into the video. She's named Carolyn. We're currently converting a Mitsubishi 2007 Rosa bus into a motorhome. We've been going since the start of March 2021, so we're just over a year, a year and two weeks at the moment. It's a six speed, nearly eight metres long. We've been making these videos basically the whole time. I'm just doing an update from last week's video on the gas struts. People were asking me whether the gas strut was going to hold the weight of the mattress and also the bed linen. So I thought I'd quickly make a video for you as the videos that I'm working on at the moment aren't currently finished. There's a lot of content to go through, so I've got to work my way through it so it's taking a little bit but there's some good videos coming out in the next couple of weeks one especially about the dinette seats it, they're going to have multi-purpose uses so if you're looking at doing a dinette in your camp van or your bus it's probably going to be a good one to watch because you might get some tips on what you can add extra to your seats that maybe you couldn't have done so that's coming up anyway also wanted to mention, guys, that we've made 500 subscribers, which is great. So thanks, guys, for subscribing. I'm glad people are liking the videos and watching them. It takes a fair bit of work to make these videos. You've got to set all your camera gear up, then you've got to do the work, and you've got to stop and film different parts of the work, and then you've got to edit them and put them out on YouTube. So there is a bit more work involved to do it but I'm enjoying it and I hope you're getting something out of these videos so for you guys that have subscribed a big thumbs up from me I'll continue to make these videos till we finish uh, I know some of the people that I've watched have um, stopped making videos which is, which is a bit of a shame they, there's obviously reasons why they're doing it they may have sold their bus or they they may not have the money at the moment to do it but whatever the reason it's a it's a shame but I'm still going for the time being, unless something major happens to me, but I'll continue making them for you guys and for myself, because it's good to look back and see what's happening. Anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about. We are talking about the, the gas struts holding the bed up. So what I'll do is I'll spin the camera down so you can have a look and I'll lift it up and down. You can see when I go to get lift the mattress up, there's actually a space within the frame of the bed that the mattress sits in and when the gas strut comes up it just stops the mattress from falling down and the gas strut has got a fair bit of torque against it so it'd take a lot to push the the gas strut down again it's a 200 newton gas strut and it just fits in i probably could have got a shorter one but it just squ squeezes in as you saw in the last video However, let me just turn it down and so you can see what's happening. Okay, you guys, I'll just duck down a bit so you can see me. So here's the mattress. It's got the mattress protector on the moment. This usually isn't on here. You've got the sheets and the, the blanket. So if I just lift it up, you can see that I've got this section just here. This will sit this size mattress onto there. I can put the mattress up and it pretty much stays in position as it is. I mean, the window's open, so it might blow over. But as soon as you lift up the gas strut, you can see it's not going to move. And as you can see, it doesn't matter really what I do, it's not going to fall over by itself at all. Then when I um, bring this that down, it'll fall back into place. And that's it. So, guys, that's how the gas strut works on this particular setup. It's got plenty of uh, torque to keep the mattress up. It's only a foam mattress. It's not a inner spring, but even if it wasn't in the spring, it'd still be able to uh, keep it up. The other thing, when I finish building this bed, I'm going to cut this section of the, the bed out so it sits flush with the slats. So it'll be easy to just pull the mattress down. You won't have to try and tuck it in. Anyway, guys, that's how this is working. I hope that is an answer to the question you guys were asking. Everything's good. I only need the one gas strut to hold everything up on either bed, so I won't need those other two gas struts, but I may use them for something else yet. If not, I'll take them back and, and buy something else. All right, guys. 
that's uh, basically it for this week. As I said, I have got some good videos coming out, but there's just a lot of content to get through. The other thing is I wanted to wish you a happy Easter. I hope you guys have a blessed time with um, family and friends. And if you're going away, make sure you stay safe, drive safely and, and come home and have a great Easter. All right, guys, for this week, that's it. I hope your build's going well. I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of the builds as they go through. I've been getting some and they're looking really good. So well done, guys. If you have any questions about our build, uh, what I've done or how I've done it, or I haven't explained something properly, please drop a, a comment below and I'll try and answer it for you. I'll try to get back to everybody that comments. As usual, guys, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification button. This helps us get our videos out to a greater amount of people on YouTube. So all the help you can give us, that'd be great. Other than that, guys, have a great week and we'll talk to you next week. So for now, see you later. <laughs>